Early this year, the Ministry of Education reported that the enrollment of trainees in TVETs had shot up from 55,945 in 2013 to 249,316 in 2022, attributing the increase to the 10.3 billion shillings capitations to TVETs in the form of government grants and 11.1 billion shillings education loans from higher education loans would help to TVET trainees. Don Bosco Technical and Vocational Education and Training Centers are such institutions, though their uniqueness lies in offering this training for free to learners from slums, refugee camps and humble backgrounds. <laughs> These institutions are present in four countries in the region, Kenya, Tanzania, Sudan and South Sudan, with Nairobi serving as the region's headquarters with 27 institutions throughout the region. In Kenya, the institutions have operated since 1980 and provides technical training in five well-equipped institutions. They currently operate in Embu, Makuyu, Don Bosco Boys Town, Nairobi, Kakuma and Marsabit. We get the young people from the peripheries, from the villages, from the slums and we try to educate them and put them on feet. So far in our existence of last 35 plus years, we have put over 5,000 young people on their feet and give them, given them a life of dignity and respect. Like the rest of the Don Bosco institutions, students targeted are aged between 18 to 22 years and they come from very poor backgrounds. The institution follows a different patient and flexible approach to suit their learning. Here we have over 350 students and we can put in, um, in Makui we have around 300 students, Marsabit let's call it around 150 students and uh, Kakuma huge number. The training consists of a two-year technical program backed by relevant workshop practice sessions. Some of the trades taught at the institution include electricals, mechanical engineering, welding, motor vehicle mechanic, masonry, carpentry, plumbing and tailoring. In 1984, we started this institution with just a couple of boys. Today, I can proudly say that practically every industries in this country might be having young people come out of this. Today, we are moving into a uh, digital age. We want to, okay, our own boys, train our own boys into digital skills and plus young men and women from outside also come and train themselves in digital skills and for that we are net networking with this thin tech consultants. COVID-19, the pandemic um, brought a lot of disruption in the education sector. For years we were not able to, you know, to the education program was disrupted. So that necessitated the need for education institutions and other uh, business sectors to go digital. Eric Marita from Thintech Consulting appreciates the role being played by Don Bosco and other institutions offering technical training to students, while at the same time insisting on the need for partnerships between various players to enhance the digitalization of the education sector in the country. Thintech Consulting seeks to address the problem and the challenge of cost and access to computing resources by providing alternative computing resources. The cost of a refurbished computer, which could last to six to six to one year, optimally, it, it's about twenty to fifty thousand Kenyan shillings. Our virtual workstation terminals seek to address this challenge by introducing, by replacing the CPUs with our terminals. Then we embed our terminals with our virtual uh, digital content that is on cloud. Which, our, which we, we, we offer to our partners who are our training institutions to provide the digital literacy. He faults what he terms as stiff government regulations, which he says hamper the growth of local industries, especially in the ICT sector. A year ago, we started a local assembly plant, but there's a lot of uh, statutory documentations and resources needed. As a startup, as a young institution, we could not, it became a challenge. We want the government to partner with us, to support us financially, bring us young people sponsored by the government. And even from the government agencies, they have come and seen and they have given certain amount of credit saying that this is a well set up institution. Sakali Dalmas, KT News.